Today I'm going to take a look at the Siege X USB by Streamlight. This review starts right after the intro. I can't stand intros. Hey, greetings everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Johnny. I'm an artist. I'm a musician. I like sharp things, tools, all kinds of things like that. I like to take them into the woods and make coffee and stuff like that. But when I spend a night, I like to be able to see in the dark as well. So I thought I'd do a review, my first review, on a lantern or a flashlight. I'm going to share it with you. Some of my knife friends might go, what's he doing? Well, this kind of ties in with everything that I have been doing. So hopefully you've been paying attention. All right, so the Siege X USB Streamlight. Kind of cool. So I spotted it on Amazon, and then I started getting into the YouTube uh, videos. Tons of really good reviews out there. I am not a reviewer. I'm a guy who kind of looks at things from his point of view. But in this case, I'm gonna actually do a couple of things to make you happy and get right into it. So, plastic packaging, nothing fancy, but there's no cutting. So there's a little thing to open up here. We got all the run times here on the back. Lots of advertising. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna to cut to the chase and I'm just gonna open it up and pull out the instructions before I actually get too far into it. Because really I wanted to just read a couple of things here and show you a couple of things. All right, so it comes with a little sticker and a little, I think, welcome to the Streamlight family uh, literature. And we've got English, we've got Spanish, we've got French, and I do believe we've got German. And we've got German. So let me quickly, 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 I'll go through the English as fast as I can. Uh, caution LED radiation RG2. Do not stare into the beam. May be harmful to the eyes. And yeah, I'm going to make mistakes as I read. Uh, features. Stand upright. Use as overhead light or use it as a flashlight. Bottom D-ring for outside or for upside down hanging. Ergonomic handle hooks on any edge or bar designed to lock in the stowed position. 360 degrees of soft, even light. Battery power level indicator. I'm going to go through that. Easily replaceable battery cover. Multi-fuel accepts one stream light, 18650 USB rechargeable cell or two CR123 disposable batteries. I'm going to go over all that as well. Okay, it's going to tell you how to do all this stuff. And the modes, I'm going to just demonstrate. I'm going to talk about that. Just save a little bit of time. Basic overview. Um, also, we've got some warning meters here. So uh, the, the button will flash in certain colors depending on the, the battery power. I'm going to go over all that right now. All right, so let's take this out of the box. And like I said, the, the packaging is pretty good. Micro USB cable. I'm going to leave it as is because I've got several of these lying around the house. Here's the 18650. There's the charging port. And here's the lantern. So let's leave that there for now. I want to talk about the battery first. So it does come with the cable. I've got a whole bunch of these lying around the house. Here is one of the main reasons why I chose this one for backpacking and cycle trips that I tend to do quite a bit. It can be charged. This battery can be charged several different ways. So you've got the cable, which obviously you're going to need. This can be plugged into the USB port on my inverter in my vehicle. So if I'm driving and I'm going to do some camping, and I want to use this in my tent, perhaps, I could be charging this while I'm driving. So that's great. That's a great option. The other way I can charge this is if I'm at home and I'm charging other batteries. I can also charge this at the same time. It's not plugged in at the moment, but, you know, it would show me what the charge is. So that's another way to charge it. And when I'm on a cycle trip, I always take a little battery pack for you know, obviously something like this, maybe headphones and my cell phone. So I can charge another way. 
put the USB in here and turn this baby on. And it should give me a little red indicator and there it is right there. So the battery is charging, it turns green once it's fully charged. The beauty here is that I have two little solar panels that tie into the end. So I'm always charging this while I'm riding my bicycle or at my camp. We're at 98% right now. So that's three methods to charge the OSB, or OSB, the USB. Hey, OSB, isn't that plywood? All right, let's turn this off. There. All right, so the battery, awesome. Also, it says that you can use two one, two, threes. Now, these are not one, two, threes. They look like they are, because you see the one, two, three. But they're actual CR17345s. So unless I'm reading that wrong, I think I would make a mistake if I was to use those. So let's just put those aside. If I did have CR123s, I would demonstrate those, but I don't think I have them, so I don't want to take a chance on damaging this. Okay, so with no battery in it right now, it doesn't talk about the weight, but I can tell you that it's about a little bit lighter than a Tenacious. It's way lighter then the surge, and what else do we have here? I think that's pretty much it. Let's leave it that, at that. Let's put the battery in. Okay, now before I put the battery in, I'm kind of going a little bit fast. I think I'm going a little bit too fast. I gotta slow down. I've talked about the battery. Let's talk about the lantern. So it's really light right now. Let's take out the calipers. Some of you wanna know how big it is. So I'm just gonna go, because there was no dimensions on the box. And if there was, I didn't see them. So we're at 50 millimeters. That's the circumference at the top. It's about two inches. And on the bottom, on the base, we're about 55, maybe. A, so that's about two and a quarter, roughly. And then overall, we're looking at Speaking of batteries, I should probably put a battery in these calipers one of these days. Uh, 100 and, about 112 millimeters. So maybe, what is that, 104 inches or so. I always check it. Yeah, about four and an eighth, roughly, give or take. Sorry for that. Pretty compact, pretty light. Rubber, rubberized, it's kind of like shock absorbers all over. I like that, I really like that. That's the flashlight. Same on the bottom, rubberized, grippy. Here's the carabiner, you know, some paracord ridge line or something like that. I'm kind of starting to see that, could use that. It goes two directions, that's cool. Um, for the knife people that are watching this right now, we've got uh, spring assist. See that? It's like riding on Teflon washers. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. But you see this spring assist kind of going on there. We're rubberized in here, so it's very grippy. So you could hang this on maybe a, like a smooth smooth kind of a surface because it's got that texture and wants to grip so that's pretty cool i think the coolest thing is that you know spring assisted you could probably yeah you could put it on a side like that i think we're pretty good maybe you want an overall with the handle fully open and we're at seven inches so this is what a knife guy does you know overall seven in the folded position, we're at four, four and a quarter. It's more of a knife channel than it is a lantern channel. Okay, so there's our power button. It's got a nice click. It's kind of rubbery as well. Overall build, 
Excellent. Yeah, absolutely excellent. All right, so sort of like a little turn, you see that? We've got an O-ring in there. I think it's good to about three meters. Don't hold me to that, but I know it floats as well. So far, the build quality is absolutely amazing. Let's drop in the uh, 18650, positive end first. Okay, so now we're probably, we're about the same as a Tenacious right now. Definitely lighter than the Surge. All right, so we've talked about the specs, the battery, the build, the fit and finish, the spring assist. Let's start looking at the modes. Now, when I started digging into this, I did not look at the manual at all because that's just the way I am. Some people are like that. They just, that's the way they function. They just got to have it in their hand and start operating. And that's the way I learn. Some people learn differently. So I'm going to share my way. One click, what happens? Well, oh, okay. It's a soft white. Ah, one more click and it's off. So I know for a fact that when I click it back on after it's been off, it goes back to the mode at the lowest level. So in this case here, the lowest level would be that one. All right, so power on, low, medium, high, off. Pretty straightforward. Every time I turn it back on, it always starts at the low mode of the lap the low setting of the last mode. Okay, so what happens if I press and hold it? Goes into the red. Now the red is really cool. I could see this being cool in the tent. Maybe for reading? I mean, I, I would probably read with this. Might be better on the eyes, especially at nighttime, you know, when you gotta go up and get out of the tent and nature calls. I think this would be good on the eyes. All right, so we're in red. I think one click will turn it off. Makes sense. When I click it back on again, it should come back to that red. And sure enough, it does. Let's press and hold it. Oh, we went to another mode, sorry. I didn't want to do that. I skipped something. Oh boy, I gotta go back. All right, so we're back at the beginning here. All right, press and hold, go to red. One more click. Now we're into SOS. Hope I never have to use this, but if I ever did, it's nice to know that I have it. And it'll probably run for many hours. We'll go back to that book or the, uh, the back of the packaging to see how many hours it's gonna run on this. But I'm, my guess is it's probably gonna be a long, long time. So one click should turn it off. When I turn it back on again, it should be solid red. And indeed it is. All right, so let's, we uh, already went to the flashlight, so let's press and hold this. That takes us to our third mode. And that's the flashlight. And because it's been on for a second or two, I think this will turn it off, one click. One more click, it goes on. Another click into the high, so there's only low and high on the flashlight, and I can tell you it's not that bad. Probably do more testing in the dark down the road, perhaps, maybe in one of my Into the Woods videos. All right, so we'll turn that off. So there you go. When I turn it back on again, it'll be on the low mode, or the low setting of the third mode. The third mode is the flashlight. And this is the way I'm describing it. I'm not getting it from the book. It's just the way it makes sense to me in my head. There's three modes. All right, flashlight mode, I'll press and hold, and that should take me to the lantern mode. And there it is, lantern mode, press and hold. Red light mode, press and hold. Flashlight mode, press and hold. Back into the lantern. That's pretty much it. Now I do know that this, right now, sorry for that. It's green, obviously, because the battery is fully charged. Now, once the battery starts to deplete, 
this will go different colors. It'll be yellow and flashing red and solid red. Go back to the book for what all that stuff means, but it's not important right now, I don't think. I've covered pretty much all the stuff I really wanted to cover in this video. I was trying to keep it as short as I could. I gotta tell you, I am excited about this. I do like this. The build quality is amazing. And um, this is gonna suit my needs for those bike trips, the cycling trips that I do, and um, the time that I spend in the tent or the hammock, this is gonna be good. Yes. I think the double A and the triple D might be a bit big, but we'll see. They're, those are coming very soon too. So if you like this video, maybe I'll do a couple more. I like the stand. Very cool. Let me know how I did on my first uh, run on a video of this nature. Usually I like to talk about things like this. You know, it's just me. That's pretty much it for today. Siege X USB. I really like it so far. Let's take it into the woods next. Have a super fantastic day, everyone. Bye for now.